Okay, so today we're going to be replacing the fiberglass panel on both sides of this uh, fifth wheel trailer. As you can see, it got blown off in the wind, it broke into a bunch of pieces, it was tried to be taped back on. So we are going to cut it using a 4x8 sheet to replace that old piece with and uh, restructure and insulate and we'll show you step by step. Okay, see you in the next segment. Okay, so in the next step here, I'd like to just show you here, we removed the board. And as you can see inside, it's just totally got rot everywhere in there and everything. So we've gone ahead now and already framed and insulated this side uh, to uh, show you guys ahead of time here. Uh, so we will be cutting back the fiberglass a little bit about quarter way on the window and then adding the fiberglass, but we'll see in the next segment. Okay, so now you can see the corner bead edging is completely removed so that we can get access to install the new fiberglass panel and we are almost ready to do our supports and insulate okay so now you can see we have this structure done it's insulated the window is out okay all trims are off ready for the fiberglass we've already made our measurement for the first side and it comes in a roll of fiberglass sheeting like this and then you just cut your size out that you're looking for then it has to be put up there and drawn out like a template and then you can cut it out then PL it on and you install your new trims and everything and you have a brand new front end of a trailer so we'll be showing you everything else in the next segment okay so here we go we've gotten the second part opened up here and I'm gonna show you here is the piece of fiberglass template now that has been made to go back directly into this spot here okay and then there's this product here and you get that right at uh, Rona Lowe's Home Depot and it will have that fitting that is going to fit directly onto the edge of your new fiberglass piece and the old fiberglass piece to connect them together properly, okay? And then you have a complete finished look on the side of the trailer that will be nice and strong also in the wind. And then also here, we're gonna be removing the old insulation out of here. And then in here, once you cut it, you also have to put a support back inside. So this is just a small piece that I'm showing just for an example here. Okay, we still have to do the supports and then you get a nice solid support and that's where that trim is going to go and the new piece is going to connect to that. So you'll see all of that in the next uh, segment. Okay, now we have our two supports in. You have great stability here for the two pieces to lock onto and directly at the top. Okay, we'll see you in the next segment. Okay, so we are totally insulated now. All our supports are in. And I'm just gonna take a look up here, let you see this here. A lot of times, you know, because you'll have the outlet boxes and stuff like that with the wiring, you'll have to do some, you know, little cuts and stuff like that to make everything fit perfectly and flush so that uh, your new fiberglass panel will lay completely flat and as I say the original one has a 1 8 mahogany board normally on it to give it strength so now we are putting down just a fiberglass finished piece that goes on top so we need the foam insulation to give it that backbone uh, when you put the adhesive on it has something to stick to and be a solid surface okay so we'll see you in the next segment okay so here is our first tack strip here that's going to join the two panels together that one is already installed and nailed in and i'm going to show you as we get up to the second piece up here so what you want to do is you want to come in very close and tight and get a nail right inside close to hold the panel and it will go directly through the tack strip and hold that on there securely so that when the next piece is joined into there you will get a complete solid piece that will not lift and blow off in the wind okay talk to you in the next segment so as you can see the nail gun you place it directly in the edge there and shoot four to five nails actually uh, in to hold that tack strip in and that will be totally solid okay and we'll see you in the next segment okay so now we have dry fitted our piece of fiberglass and it fits really good went right into the joints there that's connect to the original fiberglass panel fits very well so that's what you want to do is you know make sure you do a dry fit first to make sure everything fits PL that on PL adhesive and tape the corners so that it dries overnight then you can do your edging the following day 
So we'll be getting to all that in the uh, next segment. Now this has been completely PL glued on. It has been stapled on the corners and taped. And that will dry overnight. And we will continue with the window tomorrow in the next segment. So in this next segment here, what we're going to be doing now is cutting the opening for the window to fit back in. And I'm going to be showing you that here now using this tool of course which is an undercut saw and you're going to follow along the exact shape of the window from the inside so you can see what you're doing this is what it looks like from the inside and you're just going to take your undercut saw and you're going to start and cut and follow the exact shape making sure that you keep that exact contour around the whole opening for the window to fit back in okay so we'll see you in the next segment okay and there now you have a complete perfectly cut edge following the contour so that your window will fit directly back in okay we'll see you in the next segment okay so before putting in the window what i like to do is put a bead of silicone directly on the original seal completely around the window then place the window in and you for sure have a complete seal on the outside of the window when the screws are drawn in okay so we'll see you in the next segment so just wanted to show everyone this is the other side of the trailer of the fifth wheel trailer that we were working on and to make the template for this what you had to do was cut your fiberglass to the proper width and height that you're wanting then we've put up a piece this is a two-man job at least and put it against there dropped it down into the track okay we had to cut back enough where we were gonna go to stick that in there okay you have it sitting in the track and then you want it underneath that track above the roof so that you're able to draw the exact shape on the new fiberglass piece. And then now once you get it down on the ground, then now you can cut it out. Then also now you've also drawn the exact edge that the connecting edging is going to be put on so that you have a nice straight fit. You'll see all this in the next video. Also, uh, just make sure that stuff like this, old silicone and nails and staples or anything that are there, knock them in so everything fits nice and flush. Okay, talk to you in the next segment. Okay, so here we have the structure completed and fully insulated now and ready to put the adhesive on our new panel to be installed. See you in the next segment. Okay, and now you can see the finished panel is on now and adhesived. So now we have a few little paneling uh, areas that we have to do inside in the closets and uh, wait for this to tack up a little bit and then we will cut out the window and install the window. We'll see you in the next segment. Okay, so now we have our window installed. Everything fit exact, nice and tight. We've put on our top trim almost to the front corner because now you'd have to install your front corners first. Okay, we've got to remove the tape. Everything's dry. You can install your front corner all the way up, then the top piece can be bolted securely to the side, which locks everything in. We'll uh, see you in the next segment. Okay, and here we have the finished side with all trims on. And, you know, mind you, you know, you'd need a couple of guys to help in doing this. We also put a piece of fiberglass on the front to make a nice smooth finish. Okay, and that's also PL'd on. You'd have to take off the bottom trim and put that on and then with the adhesive measure the you know the height you need it's always eight feet normally uh, the length or the width and here is the other side okay so you can do this on your own it's not a problem it just takes a little bit of time and uh, a couple of friends okay so hope this helps thanks and like and share have a good day